Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. And before we get started on the next video, they brought a bench back out here to where I used to make all my, normally make all my videos. They put a new bench out here, the other one rotted away. <laughs> anyway, this video today, we're gonna to talk about a rucksack that, that's big on the market right now. You can't even get them, they're always out of stock. And well, see what I gotta say about it. Be right back with you. Again, welcome back to the channel, everybody. And before we get started, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel, share with your friends and enemies, leave a comment down below and give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, or if you have subscribed and you want to catch up with future videos or see old videos, hit that bell. And uh, yeah, that's get your notification button. Anyway, and also, yeah, check out my old videos. Really appreciate it. Anyway, we're out here today. Uh, it's a beautiful Friday, beautiful weather, a little chilly outside. Did you see I'm wearing a sweatshirt and I brought you along because I've had the opportunity to have a really good look at and try out a uh, backpack that's really well known on the market and it's from uh, Self-Reliance um, Pathfinder and it's the ba Pathfinder backpack as you see here behind me, okay? Uh, this pack right here is roughly around 35 liters, I would say, um, and it's not a bad backpack, actually. It's uh, sadly, um, you know, this thing is not American made. It's made um, in, um, you know, in Asia and uh, not in China, though. I think it's Vietnam is where it's made at. But uh, it's not a poor design, although there are some flaws with it that I would consider flaws that I, I think that they could easily fix or could be fixed uh, by them in their design pattern. Um, but um, I mean, one of the first things I would do is I would change the color. I like the brown, but I hate the two-tone coloring that they've done. I think that just looks awful, personally. <laughs> I would rather them do it all brown and, uh, um, um, and uh, or uh, all olive or whatever, or, or maybe a green, I guess, right here. Anyway, but um, uh, let, let's talk about this pack. Well, first, let's talk from the top down. Um, it has a pretty substantial hood on it with a zipper on it, okay? And the zipper here, well, let me bring it in a little closer so you can have a better look. So just be with me. And let's uh, get you down here so you can see a little better what I'm talking about here. Well, <coughs> it has this expandable top here on it, which actually allows you to, to raise it up a bit. It's not a bad idea. It's a good concept. Okay. And um, this allows you to raise up the, the lid so that you can, you know, put something underneath of it if you want to. You can extend it also. Um, now, besides that, um, it's pretty much just a typical lid that you'll see on a backpack. On the back side of which I like to place them to zipper on the back so it's towards your back right here. They have a small pocket here on top which you can access some small things. I personally would have made this a little bit larger, but I think it's it's okay. It's okay for the size of this pack right here. Okay. Um, <clears throat> now, unless you are you have some super compact gear, I don't think you're gonna go do a whole lot of overnights in this thing right here. Um, but you can. You can definitely do some overnights in a, in a 35 liter pack without too many problems. Depends on how you can get into it. Let's go around. Let's stay on the back side here as we go down. It has a really, it's a pretty comfortable uh, shoulder system right here. It's actually quite wide and it's, it's quite comfortable. Now, the only problem I have with it is that it's quite short. It needs to have another, I would say another six inches added to it. Um, and that would be to allow for someone, a big guy like myself, uh, to fit into it. And, um, but once you've done that and you've gotten your chest straps fitted, maybe it would be pretty good. I personally can't use the chest straps inside right here because it really fits on the outside of my of my shoulder. Let me let me show you real quick. So I put it on. Okay. Now 
it, it does fit comfortably. It's not an uncomfortable pack, you know. But the problem with that is, like I said, I really can't use this right here to pull it in. So I would have to wear it like it's, like you see right here. That does have a waist strap on it, uh, although it's a little bit short, I would say, when it comes to what, it, what it's used for. But this part right here is actually pretty good when it comes to the shoulder straps. I actually like the shoulder straps. I find them comfortable, and I think that uh, they'd be comfortable for day, day use or whatever, you know. But, um, and then it has a waist strap system here on it. But I find that these waist straps, this waist strap here is a little bit too short. It could be longer and they could have double mollied it. So you can actually add some pouches to the bottom of it. If you want to, because it, and, and I'll explain to you why. I'd rather have my canteens right here where I can get to them because on the back of this thing right here, the canteens take up too much space. I like the idea of having, matter of fact, for me, it's an ideal spot location right here on the side to put a canteen or to put ax or whatever tool but this thing is so tight and compressed it pushes into the pack so what that does that eliminates all the space that you have on the inside is actually being used by a, something on the outside i think that's poor design i do like the molly system here the pals webbing here is a good idea you can always add something to it that's a great idea in fact okay on the bottom of the pack right here you have some a you have a zipper here with a with an orange um rain rain cover for it and that's pretty good for 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 survival reasons or whatever but i personally like to be able to take that off i don't think it's necessary to have this right here on the bottom i would just carry an orange panel with me that i can have multiple use out of so i'm not too keen on that and personally a uh <coughs> a rain cover for me for a backpack is, is pretty much useless i just pack everything inside waterproof bags inside my rucksack but on the bottom, you have some more PALS webbing, more webbing on the bottom so you could attach something. I personally don't. I don't want anything dangling around my backside. So for me, that'd be a no-go. But anyway, it does have a waist strap, a waist pad here on the back. And you can take this off. And it's actually pretty good. You can actually take the whole waist strap, waist, waist strap off of it, which personally for me, that would be fine because I'm not going to carry a whole lot of heavy gear inside this thing anyway. Um, let's flip around to the face of this thing right here and go back to the top so if you open up the lid here okay <coughs> now i like a mesh a mesh inner the reason why i like that mesh so i can see what's in there if i want to real quick and uh the, the the and one thing i do like about this pack is actually the roll top it has on it this is a great idea first of all it allows you to extend the size if you want to and you can put that that lid on top of that if you can really extend it you can carry another uh, 10 liters of gear inside this thing right here easily that's if you needed to but then it'd be way up on, on the back of your neck and that'd be uncomfortable but i do like this concept right here and i would definitely add it into any pack that i was building myself the idea of a roll top i think it's a really good idea and this right here is pretty well made um like i said the, the, the pack itself is not waterproof it's 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 the material is pretty much it's water resistant but it's not a waterproof pack but you can easily you know get what you got inside of it now on the front here you do have some more pals web webbing here on the front and it probably could use another line here so if you wanted to add a pouch here you could i like the idea of being able to add a few pouches but um but uh, um this one of course is sort of you know it sort of peters out when it comes to that you know uh it could use those extra pouches there uh, the extra ability to, to add more pouches there you know because it's sort of a blank space here Okay, and you could easily, like I said, do more with that. Now, they have a small attempt at a pouch here on the bottom, okay, a zipper pouch. And the problem with this is it's really too small. I mean, I've got a few, just some, just my, per, uh, a few small items in here. I would suggest that they would have gone bigger with this and possibly cover the entire section with a nice big zipper pocket so you can get, um, rain gear in there you can get your basha in there if you want to or your tarp you can get some um, you know some other th items in there that you might need you know um and sadly they didn't do that so i think it's sort of a it's a loss or it's a it's a mistake on their part they could have done better with that you know the design it's a design flaw from, from from my point of view or something they could improve on maybe in the future they will improve on it um but um you never know nice big velcro here so you want to add some 
some cat eyes or add your name or add uh, you know a patch or whatever that's pretty cool uh here on the side let's talk about these side pockets you see it's my, my pocket actually this is actually popping out here and i've got a one liter nalgene bottle in here but because of the size here it actually pushes into inside the pack so you're losing that space inside the pack which you need because this pack is a slender pack i mean for a day pack it's not too bad but i would suggest this pack right here a little bit a little bit larger okay um a little bit uh, larger in size and and the reason why is so you can you can really get some you know a decent sleeping bag in there um you can get uh, some chow in there you can get some extra clothing you can make sure definitely carry your 10 essentials plus and that's what's important to me is being able to get the 10 essentials in there plus a few extra items you know so we're just right here with the water you know i carry my water bottles on the outside or i want to slide an axe right here on the outside or a, a sauce like that or whatever you know but this right here these pouches are a little bit um a little bit less than what i would hope they'd be they're actually i mean it's a good idea it's a great idea but they just didn't follow through i think uh, as well as they could have but anyway that's it would I, would I suggest you purchase this backpack well it's not a bad backpack um um it's it's an interesting pack um but yeah i mean why not i mean i think it's, it's a decent price i think it's like 159 dollars it's not an overpriced pack um you know i like my my berghaus munro and it does pretty much the same thing but doesn't have the outer pockets or this kind of stuff which is pretty sad about it that's one of the mistakes that berghaus has done they could instead of updating um that um assault pack with a whole bunch of zippers and this kind of stuff they could have just kept it simple stupid and just done with and just added some molly to the side of it and added a big pocket right here you can get your water bottles in there and then just added something here but we'll go see that in the future with some of my builds anyway hope you enjoyed this video uh on this the pathfinder rucksack um it's hard to get them and if you're interested in this one right here it's on sale it's for sale on my website um it's the last one and um at a really good price actually to be honest with you and check it out on Hel um, helvetia bushcraft.ch and um you can get this one right here it's brand new it's um only been tried out a little bit and uh, nothing not even overnight and uh but it's a uh, you can get it so i hope you enjoyed this video you guys take care of yourselves have a pleasant day and like i said please share with your friends and enemies subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below and i look forward to seeing you in the next video hope you all have a good one take care goodbye